The Geo effect pushes Airtel and BSNL to gear up. Motorola E4 is reportedly out in India. Chinese manufacturer Meizu launches a new A series smartphone. Today is Monday, July the 3rd and this is 360 Daily. BSNL has announced additional data benefits for existing plans. So say you're a BSNL postpaid user, you will get 8 times free data benefits. Let's start with BSNL's Plan 99. You will now get 250 MB of data compared to zero data benefit earlier. For a Plan 225, you will get 1 GB of data compared to 200 MB. And Plan 325 will get 2 GB of data compared to just 250 MB data. For Plan 525 and 725, we will get 3 GB and 5 GB of data respectively. Airtel also has a monsoon surprise offer which is made live. All postpaid users will get up to 30 GB of free additional 4G data across 3 months. GST has some good impact on smartphone prices in India. Now, after Apple and Asus, Panasonic has also slashed the prices. Panasonic Eluga L2 1GB RAM variant will be now available for 6,490 rupees. The 2GB variant of Eluga L2 will cost you 7,290 rupees. The prices of P88, Eluga A2, Eluga L3 Mega and Eluga X Pulse have been cut as well. There is no official word about the price cuts but Gadgets360 has learned through offline retailers that they have been informed about the price cuts. Motorola E4 is out in India for 8,999 rupees but remember that this smartphone is only available offline. Now the official price has not been disclosed by Lenovo as of now. But what has been confirmed is that Motorola E4 Plus with a big battery of 5000 mAh will be coming to India officially. Chinese manufacturer Meizu has launched a new ACD smartphone. The big highlight is the price tag, which is 6600 rupees roughly. We don't know when it's hitting the Indian shores yet. Sharp has launched a second Android One smartphone, the X1. It's priced at roughly 40,500 rupees, and this is the unlocked version. This Sharp X1 is now available to buy via Japanese carrier Y Mobile. Delhi Metro commuters can now buy token and recharge their smart cards through their mobile banking app. The passenger will have to select pay through QR option in the app. After that, you can always scan the QR code displayed at the ticket counter. Enter the fare in your set. The service is only available on banking apps by HDFC Bank. That's all on this edition of 360 Daily. I'm Devika Chitnis for Gadgets 360. For all things tech, don't forget to log on to gadgets360.com.